Hello everyone! Today I have a very special time lapse to share with you all, featuring Marshall from Animal Crossing. I haven't done an acrylic painting on paper in such a long time, so I was very excited and honored to be able to try out this beautiful set of 30 fluid acrylics from Magic Fly. This set is a great value because the paints are decently high quality for the economic price and it comes with these three acrylic brushes. So if you'd like to try out Magic Fly's paints for yourself, I will leave all of the links in the video description. For a more in-depth look at my painting process, including hundreds of hours of specialized tutorials, comprehensive color mixing demos, and monthly art career podcasts, check out patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you as part of my Patreon family. Okay, so I have a few art supply review videos queued up for the next month, starting with this one. And the main reason why I love making these review videos is, of course, primarily to show everyone who's watching that there are many versatile, fun, affordable brands of art supplies out there that won't break your wallet. And another more personal reason that I love trying out all these different brands of mediums is because it kind of forces me out of my comfort zone. Sometimes I think that if no one asked me to review acrylics or watercolors or markers, I would probably just be doing only oil painting, which isn't a bad thing of course because I will always love oils the most and it's forever my number one favorite medium. But for me, it's so much fun to also be able to experience the variety of uh, different characteristics and different creative processes that result from experimenting with something new. And what's awesome about trying out new mediums is that it kind of forces me to change up my style as well. I realize that I can't just try to recreate an oil painting aesthetic with a different medium that is optimized for a different style. So for these art supply review videos, I decided to try a completely different style from what I normally paint. Instead of my usual dark and ethereal female portraits, I wanted to try something more lighthearted, illustrative, and cute. <laughs> so, of course, what better subject to fit this theme than Animal Crossing? So I don't know if I've ever publicly declared my love for Animal Crossing before, but here it is, I'm saying it now. This game is amazing. Um, Animal Crossing honestly has helped carry me through some pretty dark times last year, and I actually had to force myself to stop playing it for a while because I was afraid of getting too addicted to it. Um, so I played for a few months in the spring of 2020, and then I went on like a seven month hiatus and around Christmas time of 2020, I got back into it again. And this time I feel like I just have a lot more self-control thankfully, um, so I don't have to worry about overplaying it. But um, I really wanted to just paint each of my Animal Crossing villagers as their own special type of dessert, just to pay tribute to how much this game means to me and um, how happy it's made me even when things in my life weren't always going happily. And my idea for this set was to paint each of my Animal Crossing villagers as their own special type of dessert. So I started with, I guess, the most straightforward and obvious one, which is Marshall, since he is designed after a marshmallow and has a marshmallow reference in his name. I decided to just have him uh, sitting on top of a s'more, which contains a marshmallow. I know it's so innovative, uh, but I just love his grumpy, cute little face so much and it was so fun to paint this. And 
that about wraps up today's video. I hope you all enjoyed this cute and fun little painting and there are more coming soon. I can't wait to share more Animal Crossing themed art with you all. And now it's finally the moment we've all been waiting for, the super satisfying tape peel. Here we go. Woohoo! Wasn't that fun? Um, I swear I can never get sick of varnishing or tape peeling videos. They are just so satisfying. If you're interested in adopting this little Marshall, I will have both the original painting and fine art prints listed in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And as always, I am still continuing my holiday sale even though the holidays have long been over because why not? So if you want to get 20% off of anything from my shop, including prints and originals, including today's original, uh, just enter the code HOLIDAY at happyd-artist.com. Let's just try to extend the holiday as long as possible. Why not? And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes. All available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist.